Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, welcome. So today I'm really excited to get into this video because I'm going to be sharing my top 5 favorite wash and go curly cocktails. Yup, it's gonna be a great one. So y'all know I'm constantly experimenting with different product combinations for my wash goals like all of the time. So the five combos that I'm gonna be sharing in this video are bomb. And it's not like just one wash day that came out really great with these combos. Like these are combos that I have used repeatedly and they just come out really great. The combos include products that work really well together. And this is all tried, tested, and true by your girl. So before we jump in to all of that good stuff, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell as well if you wanna get notified every single time the new new drops. All right, let's get into this. I'm so excited for this. So first, off the bat, I wanna describe what it means to actually have the perfect wash and go. So for me personally, I really like to find somewhere in between volume and curl definition. I don't like volume without curl definition and I don't like curl definition without volume. You feel me? So for my wash and goes, I'm always striving for that good mix of both. So for each of these combinations that I'm going to mention in this video, I kind of like to use a specific technique that really allows me to get like great volume and definition. So my general wash day will look like a leave-in conditioner and then styling products for holes. For my leave-in conditioners, the real main focus is moisture. For those products, I'm always finger combing them through my curls. That's the way to get the moisture really like into all of my curls. And then for my styling hold products, I always like to go in and smooth my hair down with prayer hands and then scrunch. So yeah, these are the best techniques that I've found. I may decide to do a video to get more in depth about those techniques and how to really make them work. So stay tuned for that. Comment below actually if that is something that you want to see. So yeah, for all of these curly cocktails that I'm mentioning in here today, those are the techniques that I'm using in order to achieve the best results possible. So let's jump right in. Number one, now these aren't in any like particular order or anything. They're just, I just have them numbered. I literally love them all so much equally. But yeah, so for number one, it's going to be a mixture of the Care Care Curl Essence Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. Then on top of that, we go in with the Miel Babasu Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse. And then on top of that is the We Dad Heat and Humidity Control Gel. I love this combo. Okay, so this is the combination that I did in that video where it was my first time experimenting mousse and gel together ever, and it was just a match made in heaven. So first things first, leave-in conditioner. Y'all hear me talk about this thing all the time. If you're struggling with dryness, this is the number one leave-in conditioner that I will recommend to you, especially if you have hair that's kind of similar to mine. It just works so well and is super, super, super moisturizing. I absolutely am obsessed with this. So that leave-in is gonna go ahead and keep your curls nice and juicy and moisturized. And then for the whole products, we got our mixture of mousse and gel, which was amazing the first time I used it in that video. So both of these products are pretty lightweight. This gel gives you good definition, but it doesn't have like a super strong hold. So you'll find that by day two, day three, your hair will just be loosey goosey, wild and free. And then mousse, kind of the same exact thing. And even by the end of day one, like if you're just using mousse, you'll find that you might have a little bit of a frizzy situation. But when you use these together, it's like a match made in heaven. It's such a good amount of hold. I love the fact that the mousse really, like the wet consistency of the mousse really just makes your curls pop on some kind of other level. And then when you're sealing all of that on top with this gel, it is so good. By using two lightweight hold products, putting them together, you get the full amount of hold that you need, but then there's also a great amount of volume because they are still lightweight products, you got what I mean? So it's like perfect. I was so, so happy when I actually used this for the first time. So if you guys are interested actually in seeing that video, I will link it up here and down below. You can get into this combination in a lot more detail. All right, so moving right along, next I wanna talk about Curl Smith. So this curly cocktail includes their Hold Me Softly Style Balm, which is the leave-in conditioner, and then their In Shower Style Fixer, which is an extreme hold gel. So when I first used these, like my very first impression of Curl Smith, I was still using the Denman brush back then. So if you guys have seen this video, I wasn't impressed by the styling products. The washing products, I was like, wow. It was like a co-wash and a deep conditioner. I was like, wow, like so impressed that I really wanted to be impressed by the styling products. But because I had styled with the Denman brush, 
they came out kind of poop. And you guys would have seen, I later came out with a video explaining how the Denman brush actually caused a lot of curly girl issues for me with consistent use of it. So after I figured out that the Denman brush was what was causing all of my curly girl issues, I was like, you know what? I was so impressed by the way that the co-wash and the deep conditioner worked. Let me go ahead and give those styling products another try without the Denman brush. And that's where we found the magic, okay? This is so good! And again, the prayer hands technique is really good for this gel. This gel is actually one of those gels that are a little bit picky. It does not like being brushed through with tools. Like, it does not like that. It really likes to be smushed into your hair and then scrunched into those curls and I'm telling you, it works like a dream. You'll see on the bottle that it does have extreme holds, and by using those techniques to apply it, you do get that extreme hold. If you did see my initial Carl Smith video, I was like, this has extreme hold, but it wasn't anything, and that's because I brushed it through my hair. When you apply it right, this is honestly such a good gel with strong holds. I will say that sometimes, depending on how much you use, this gel may give you a little bit of a crunchy finish, but it's definitely one of those gels that you can crunch out once it's completely dry. You just fluff it out, there won't be any flakes or anything like that, and then that's when you're able to still get lots of volume on top of that beautiful curl definition as well. Another thing I love about Curlsmith is that their products are curly girl friendly AF. Non-toxic ingredients, nothing bad in there. If you look on all their products, it says no silicones, no mineral oils, no parabens, no sulfates. Like this is a brand that you can actually feel good about using. So not only is this product combination really bomb and really effective, but you can also feel good about using it as much as you want. All right, so moving right on to the next one, I wanna talk about a fully black owned and female owned curly cocktail. Yes, you heard it right, so bomb. I actually posted about this one week ago, last Sunday on my entire wash day vid where I did the full video from beginning to end of just black owned and female owned products. If you're interested in seeing that video and you haven't watched it yet, what are you doing? But I'll link it up here and down below as well for you to check out. So this combination includes the Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Conditioner and then the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Frizz Control Gel and then on top of that, the Camille Rose Curl Maker. So lately I've really been into mixing gels. So I've noticed as I'm on this hair journey, my hair is continuing to get longer and longer. And now I'm noticing that it's pretty big, it's pretty long and becoming even harder to control. So that's when I started experimenting with mixing gels and whoo, Mixing gels is not only so much fun, but it is so great and so effective. Once you find two gels that work really well together, oh my gosh, you will have curl definition for days. Days on end, okay? That is my new favorite thing to do. I mean, I always talk about this all the time. Do I even need to say anything about this in this video? I mean, I've used this for two plus years now and it is just so good. It is a very, very curl defining leave-in conditioner. It's delicious and it's glycerin free as well. And then these bad boys, oh my gosh. I was actually nervous. I was nervous a little bit in the video when I was trying these out for the very first time. Mixing gels can either go really great or really terribly. If gels don't work well together, you will find flaking, you will find frizz, and it's just not a situation that you want. But these? They work really well together and I'm so happy about it, okay? I do think that the reason why they work so well together is that this one is super sticky and jelly-like and then this one is the opposite. It's not very sticky. So this one's a little bit more of a lightweight gel mixed with a more intense, like heavier gel and oh, they just work so good together. My curl definition has been on fleek going on six days now but then again at the same time i was still able to fluff out and get a really good amount of volume with my curl definition i guess it only makes sense though right because they're made by black women with natural curly hair they know what's up they know the thing all right so for number four this curly cocktail is going to consist of the curl smith weightless air dry cream the we dad heat and humidity gel and the curl maker on top so again with the gel mixing it is so so good a very similar result to the previous combination that i just mentioned with the curl maker i just really love actually mixing lighter weight gels with the curl maker actually because the curl maker is super jelly 
super sticky and it offers a lot of shine as well so this is that gel that will dry with crunch so I don't usually like to use it just on its own because it'll be a little bit too much crunch for me but when you mix it in with some lighter weight gels it's just I don't know it's just perfect it's literal match made in heaven and this leave-in conditioner is just as it says it is very weightless but once you comb it through your curls you still get that juice you still get that moisture it's just very lightweight moisture and it is it is the bomb.com when you use all three i'm telling you oh i love these combinations so much it's like making me hype because i know that these are so good all right and then for number five it's the last one but it's certainly not least like literally all of these curly cocktails are equals to me so number five is going to consist of our care care moisturizing leave-in conditioner plus aunt jackie's curl boss coconut curling gel this is actually the most affordable curly cocktail in this entire video. We're talking about $5 products, y'all. But even though these are more affordable, they're just as effective and bomb as the others. I was actually very pleasantly surprised by this gel. I hadn't used Aunt Jackie's in a really long time, but this gel is so good. My mom actually mentioned that she used it in her hair. She loved it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it in a wash and go. And girl... This gel can really stand up on its own. It is such a great gel. It's not super sticky, but it is a little bit thicker. Let me show you. So it's not going to be as runny and lightweight as the Wee Dad. So this is a little bit thicker, but it's not like super jelly-like or sticky like the Curl Maker. So I feel like this in itself is actually a really nice hybrid between a thick and jelly sticky kind of gel and also the lighter weight kind of gels that aren't as like sticky. It's just like a really great hybrid by itself. I was honestly so surprised by this gel because the amount of curl definition that I got, the level of hold, the lack of frizz, but I still, again, had that volume. I don't know, this just like did some magic for my hair. Both of these products actually have coconut oil in them. Y'all know I don't like to use standalone oils in my hair, but I do notice when a product says coconut oil in it, my hair, nine times out of 10, will enjoy it. So this is like coconut oil city over here. If your hair likes coconut oil products, then this is definitely something that I would suggest. So yeah guys, those are my top five current favorite curly cocktails. If you're really trying to perfect your wash and go, I 110% recommend all of these products. But even if you just wanna start with one of those combinations, you start with the last one that I mentioned that was the most affordable. Start there, see how your curls respond, and just have fun in the whole experimentation process. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it super useful. If you did, go ahead and give a girl a thumbs up. And if you have any more questions for me on any of these combinations here, just go ahead and comment them below. I try my best to get to every single comment eventually. And before you leave, I got two more videos for you to check out right here. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.